What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Mines World. And right now we're gonna be talking about the most recent patch that EA put out. February 2nd, 2021. They did a lot of things to probably help next gen. They didn't really do much to help the current gen, but also they've made a lot of adjustments to the game that they didn't tell us about. So we're gonna go over a few things while I explain to you why I had to raid sell a couple players. Now, Justin Smith is absolutely hot dookie. All right, but we're gonna get to that in a second. What you're going to find is that purple zones no longer work and the rollout corner is back for Madden 20. So whatever they did, they took away the ability for you to actually contain. So I'm going to explain to you what you're probably going to be seeing a lot more of during Weekend League and also what you should expect and how we can counter it. Uh, at least pretty much what I had to do to counter it, right? So Justin Smith, we're going to start there, right? He was one of the better cards throughout the year and I kept him on my 49ers theme team for a very, very long time. For me, he was unbelievable every, like bro, from the from the time he came out with just his team diamond to, you know, I guess with so many other cards that made him outdated, he was still really, really good. That is no longer the case. He is a trash can. So what happens is when you see his price that low, all of his numbers are just fake stuff like that, that EA just put there. He no longer does anything he's supposed to do. So even on your 49er theme team, you may find um, that he's not doing as much as he was doing earlier in the year. Now, that can have something to do with the patch also. I'm not sure, but he does not play up to his numbers. There's only a few cards defensively uh, that you still are going to get good things out of. LT being one of the main ones. Uh, Ted Hendricks, Michael Strahan. Even though I raid sold him, I had to buy him back uh, because he's one of the better cards. I play him at D-Tackle. You will still get that suitable pressure with him at your D-Tackle position. All right, I just wanted to point that out because when I see it and I show you guys on stream, shout out to all you guys over at G Miles World Gaming right here on YouTube also seeing the full end gameplays and seeing what goes on because I need you guys to learn from what I'm doing so that you don't do it. I'm gonna go out there and get dominated. Dudes are gonna beat the brakes off me, but you're gonna get the win because you're gonna see and I explain it to you what is going on. So Justin Smith is not getting sheds. Even with inside stuff, he doesn't get off the block often enough to go in and make the big hit. Stray hand does that. So I just wanna make sure everybody understands that. Um, even if you have a theme team, like I said, if you wanna enjoy, you know, whatever, your 49er theme team with Justin Smith, have at it. I'm just giving you guys a very, very basic suggestion so that you understand um, he's not what he once was. He's not that card anymore. Just so that we're clear with it and you guys understand that. Now, getting back to what EA did with the patch. The contains don't work, so what happens now is this, right? Pretty much what people do is they um, they do that block and release on their tight end, you know, the delay route, and then they hike the ball usually on a play action and then they roll out. Well, that rollout is even more OP. It's not just the bunch tight end anymore that was like a gimmick that you could just roll out and nothing happened to you with the contains. Now it happens out of a lot of different plays. So what eSports has done is they're actually opening up the area for everybody to be able to roll out and do roll out corners. Now remember, you can roll out and throw the ball across your body just like in 20. Um, so it's not like it's something different. Uh, it is something that is very, very annoying. And they did tell us that you know, the contains would work more to keep that guy inside. Well, it doesn't work. And I just want you guys to understand that. It's something that's very important that you need to understand. If you just come out and play contains, they will still roll out with that delay route. Um, and, you know, usually, like I said, play action is usually the best way to do it. And you just roll out on the delay route side and you should have nothing but success. All right. So that's one of the other pointers that I wanted to point out. Another thing that I wanted to point out is this, right? The purple zones. So let me go ahead and, you know, point something out, right? Purple zones, you, you gotta understand, with the way that it's supposed to work, you can actually set the zone drop, right? But what happened with the most recent patch is people don't stay where they're supposed to be. So what's gonna happen is this, right? I use Charles Woodson in the slot, right? He has a 95 zone coverage, it's final tier, because 95 to 99, they pretty much play the same, right? So what happened is, since the most recent title update, we've been having a lot of issues here at G Myers World uh, with anybody staying on the side that their purple's on. So this is another situation. A lot of people are running a slot out of the Patriots playbook and they haven't taken showers in six weeks. So what they're doing is they, you can actually motion one of the, the guys on the, on the, uh, the double side to the right mo and then, and then have them on like a corner and he will just run up the field and the purple that's on that side will run inside and run away from the route. So the only way to stop that is to create clouds and set your zone drops with the clouds. Trust me when I tell you, when you guys go back to G Myers World Gaming later today and see the live stream, 
you are gonna be very, very aggravated. It is going to be very, very disgusting, and people are going to be, um, you know, very irate that it's still with the same situation. When we depend on EA developers for Madden to patch the game to make it a better experience, this is not the experience that we're looking for. So th this is why I'm giving you guys the information, right? You can still avoid getting dominated the way I did today by simply creating a cloud. The purples do not work. They, when they motion over um, or anything, any, I don't know if it's like a new motion glitch. I don't know what it is, but the purples do not play the zone. They don't play their zones. So you have to use clouds. Now with the clouds, you just pretty much go to hard flat and go back up and then it pretty much turns any any flat into a cloud flat or something like that. Even if it's a purple, when you press like uh, on, the, on the PS4, uh, PS5, it's triangle down on the right stick, up on the right stick, you know, create the cloud flat. I guess with X and Y, so it would be Y down, Y up on the uh, Xbox. Just create a cloud and then the cloud stays there. But depending on your zone drop, they may not go back far enough to be able to actually play it. So you're gonna wanna be a little bit careful with that as well. Me, personally, I don't really set zone drops often because I'm sending pressure and usually they'll throw it fast. But with the whole situation with the contains, um, you're not gonna have a lot of success with that. All right, so that's one of the things that I wanted to point out as far as being able to stop what they're doing right now. Use clouds because the purples do not work. Now, um, we spoke about it in the stream. I don't think the people that are playing competitively in the MCS series, because it's only like a weekend left, I don't think they have to play with this patch. If they do, that'll be very, very wrong, but I doubt that EA would do that. So they will be playing under uh, the previous patch, uh, I believe, because this would be very unfair to those competitors. So I don't, I'm not sure 100%, but I don't think EA would do that. So they should be on the same current um, situation. For those of you guys that were asking about it in stream, that's usually how they do it. If it's a patch really close, so where the game is coming up, they don't usually let them play under it. So what you'll be seeing on Thursday and Friday with the uh, you know the club championship should not affect uh, the, you know the competitive players. All right, but this is just the current patch right now. This is what we're living in right now. All right, so now we we took care of that with the purples. You're gonna have to play clouds now with the contain. The contain is very very interesting. All right, let me explain what goes on with the contain. No matter how good your linemen are, okay, I have Lawrence Taylor, I actually have like four, uh, four AP on him right now. He's been playing, I've been playing out of his mind, but I've been still getting dominated. So what happens is this, right? When somebody comes out and you know they want to roll out, our first instinct is what? To put a contain, because it's natural that we don't want to give them the outside presence. You know, Vic, Deshaun Watson, RG, RG3, if you guys use him, he sucks, but whatever. Um, you know, uh, what is the other dude's name? I've got Lamar Jackson. When you see those quarterbacks, you pretty much know what your opponent is doing. The crazy part about it is Josh Allen is also fast enough to do that now with the speed that he has and he throws across his body a lot more accurately than the other uh, aforementioned QBs. So when you see that your opponent wants to go outside and you feel that you have to use the contain, this is what I would suggest. You have to use a spy. Now, the spy that you use depends on the coverage. For instance, with LT out at left outside linebacker or wherever, wherever I'm playing him, if I leave him at his right position, I can't spy him because I need him to bring pressure. So if I'm running a 3-4, I would spy either a, you know the D tackle so that he steps up, he jump, like he just stands up, and then if they, once they start to roll, they run right with them. So you don't even need the contain. You know what I'm saying? Like that's pretty much what I would suggest because that's what works for me. Uh, you guys will see that happen. Uh, if you guys are subscribed to GMI's World Gaming right here on YouTube, you'll see it live. Utilizing the spy, at, if you're like I said, at 3-4 for the D tackle, I put Montez Sweat there in case a guy wants to run around because Montez Sweat, he's just fast. That's all he is, right? So he'll go out there and he'll run after him and he'll pretty much take him down. Um, if you don't use the D tackle and you're running 3-4, you can do it with a middle linebacker. You can just put, you know, put your middle linebacker in the spy and then you use the other middle linebacker and take away anything in the middle as they run to the side. But remember, the delay route is what really causes the headache. When they roll out and they release, you now have to make sure that somebody is also there when you send that spy to stop the delay route. All right. So as far as the coverages that you use, if you're using big nickel, it'll just be a safety that'll be in a spy or you'll use one of the D tackles as a spy because the contain is not doing what it's supposed to do. So you need that to happen. It is very, very important that you do that, okay? Trust me when I tell you, it is not fun what's going on right now in the current state of Madden when everybody's rolling out corners. It's bringing back nightmares of Madden 20. And I don't want that for my viewers. So 
this is something that was more important to me than the heavyweights that were released today, which were absolute trash. So I don't even feel the need to go over them. All of them are garbage. So, um, you know, I know you guys always, you know, you're looking for the new content, but I'm not gonna just talk about new content that sucks when there's a bigger pressing issue and you guys are gonna be losing games and being frustrated. All right, I don't want that for you. So I got dominated from the back so you don't have to. All right, so that's pretty much what I wanted to touch base with uh, for you guys. Try a spy either as a D tackle or one of the middle linebackers uh, as opposed to the contain and then use the middle of the field. As soon as they roll out, the spy will go. You click down on the R3, it will send the spy. That will stop all the rollouts. You just have to be able to stop the uh, delay route that comes back up. As far as purples go, they do not work. Use clouds. The clouds will go back similar to the purples. You may have to set zone drops, but they will stay on the right side of the field or the left side, wherever they're supposed to be, and not get glitched out to the middle. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Do your best to enjoy Madden. Um, that's probably saying something wrong. I don't know if you could actually enjoy it. Other than building your team, is nothing enjoyable, but enjoy it the best we can. I will be back with more team building aspects sooner than later. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. Go get some wins. One love, y'all.